Jaya Ram was one of the many troops from India fighting at the Somme. He sent a letter home to Ambala city in Punjab. I went into the trenches on the 7th of August and returned on the 28th. Some of our men were wounded. I'm not permitted to go into any fuller detail. The battle is raging violently and various new ways of fighting have been introduced. The ground is honeycombed as a field with rat holes. No one can advance beyond the trenches and if he does, he is blown away. Mines ready charged with explosives, bombs, machine guns and shells are mostly employed. No one considers rifles nowadays. Serviceable rifle ammunition is lying about as plentiful as pebbles. At the trenches, thousands of mounds of iron, representing all the exploded shells, lie on the ground. At some places, corpses of the men killed in 1914, with uniform and accoutrements still on. Large flies, which have become poisonous through feasting on dead bodies, infest the trenches, and huge fat rats run about there. By the blessing of God, the climate of this country is cold, and for that reason, corpses do not decompose quickly. It rains frequently, which causes much inconvenience. At the present time, we are suffering, as the horses that are tethered outside and the rain have converted the ground into slush. Sometimes we have to march in the rain and the cold is intense. However, after two years experience, we have grown used to all these troubles and think lightly of them. I have lots to write about, but I have no leisure nor I have permission to do so. Even this, I have to write very prudently, otherwise it would be withheld. Nothing is known of the fate of Dayram.